Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. It's one that I'm really excited about for a number of reasons. The first one is I haven't been out in the countryside with my camera for a good couple of months so I'm just really excited to see what we can get out and find. Um, secondly it's June which means that the days are really long uh, so I'll be out until half nine or 10 p.m this evening looking for wildlife which I'm so excited for. And thirdly, and this may be the reason a number of you are watching this video, is because I'm using a new camera lens and a new camera body today. This is a Canon R6 Mark II and the Canon 100-500 RF lens. Now, they're not actually mine. I'm lucky enough to be able to use them for a couple of days. Um, so throughout the video, I'll just let you know how I got on with this. If you're sort of my usual audience and, and enjoy the kind of vlog style videos where I just bring you along and see what kind of wildlife we can find, then rest assured we'll be doing that as well. It won't be too camera heavy. I won't look at too many details, um, but hopefully there'll be something for everyone in this. Uh, the first thing I'll say is this combination is incredibly light and that is perfect. Usually I would use the Canon 7D Mark II with a 300mm f2.8 lens. Um, it's quite bulky, quite heavy to carry around. So this is already a great start and I can't wait to get going. Um, so yeah, come with me and we'll see what kind of wildlife we can find this evening and see how good this camera is. So it's about 8pm and unfortunately I still haven't had a chance to test out the camera. I still haven't seen much wildlife. Um, it's actually quite a tricky time of year to find it because although there's a lot about there's also some really high grass so almost all of the fields I usually go to still haven't been cut which is brilliant for wildlife amazing for the pollinators but it just means there's all of this all of this room for the wildlife to hide so for the photographer it's a bit more of a challenge um, there's a few more open areas which I might sort of try my luck in um, yeah as I said it's about 8 p.m. so we've still got a decent amount of time but it's tricky at the minute, um, but I am hoping that we'll still find some stuff this evening. So it's about half nine now and the light is starting to go, but I'm really pleased to say that I finally had a decent wildlife encounter this evening. So I had a great chance to test out the new camera and I've got to say, really pleased with the results. Um, I had a brown hare come towards me uh, and just pose a little bit for me. So I managed to get some pictures, which was just super nice and also um, as I said, just really happy with the results. The image quality is absolutely fantastic. I found it a little bit hard to get used to the focusing on this. It's quite different to what I'm used to. Um, but I think that just comes with practice um, because when I got the focus right, the results were amazing. And the fact it's half nine and quite dark gave me a chance to test out the low light capabilities of this camera. And I'm very, very impressed. Um, it's one of the great things about mirrorless cameras is they're supposed to be very good in uh, sort of low light situations and yeah I was working with an ISO of around 2500 and I've got what looks like a pretty clean image um, definitely a step up from the Canon 7D Mark II on that front so that's really pleasing um, so yeah it's been a good evening in the end and we might see some more stuff you never know but I'm probably gonna head home soon and then head out again early tomorrow morning um, and see what else we can find So we're back out again this afternoon. I'll be honest, I didn't make it out this morning. Um, I'm working this week, so it was always going to be a little bit ambitious to go out about 4 a.m. before work. But the important thing is I'm out again now. It's about 3 p.m., so I've got the whole afternoon and the whole evening. I've watched a few more YouTube tutorials um, on the focusing system of the camera, so I think I know how to get that right now. And I've brought my tripod out today as well. So fingers crossed we'll see a lot more stuff tonight, and I'll be able to show you a lot more um, as I sort of learn how to use the camera a little bit better. I'm out here in a different location, starting off with red kites hopefully, and then later on we'll go back and look for some brown hair and roe deer again. So I'm just trying to film this absolutely beautiful butterfly, but the wind is blowing it all over the place. However, the camera is picking it up so well. Look at how it's focusing. Um, despite all that movement, I'm not doing anything. This is all the camera, so that is really really impressive i have to say i've never really been into butterflies i didn't even know what that species was um, i've had a look it's a marbled white and it's absolutely beautiful and yeah 
I'm really enjoying watching it and, and all of the other ones around here and it's definitely something I can see myself getting into and I think that's the beauty of wildlife photography is when something appears and, and you spend time with it you want to learn more about it um, and so yeah I'm just really pleased that I've, I've seen this butterfly there's quite a lot of them around as well as a load of other species and yeah the camera's capabilities to pick it up have been amazing so I've got some really nice pictures of it as well which I'm really pleased with and that was my first ever time doing butterfly photography um, but yeah it's wicked. So after the um, butterfly photography I carried on looking for a while for red kites and surprisingly didn't see any. Um, I think I have a lot more success with them over the winter months actually. Uh, but then looked for some brown hairs as well and saw one very far in the distance. So now I've just made my way down to where I was yesterday and for the rest of the evening I'm going to hope to see roe deer and yeah, that's the aim. I saw a few last night. Um, unfortunately that's where I had trouble with my autofocus. I didn't get any videos or pictures of them but I'm hoping tonight will be different and it's a really glorious evening. Don't know how much you can see but yeah, just got the sun filtering through. It's nice and warm. Um, so yeah, t-shirt weather, which is always good. And yeah, let's see how we get on. That was really, really special. I was just wandering through this woodland and looked to my left and there was a deer. It was a female roe deer just poking her head up. slowly get my camera up and get a few pictures before she wandered off. Really beautiful moment and once again I'm so pleased with the images. Uh, the, the camera continues to just do incredibly well. Really sharp photos, you know, on it with the focus and everything. Uh, yeah, I'm so happy to have seen that deer and to have got close to her and to have got nice pictures as well. We just had two much chat. I managed to get some videos and also some of my best ever photos of my jack. They're so sharp. Um, the light is really nice. It's nice and flat right now. So there's no shadows or anything. Um, I'm so pleased with those photos. Um, and it was really the first chance I had to get close enough to anything to test out the eye focus on this camera. Um, and it's incredible. Once you've got it set up, you can just hold it down and it'll just lock focus on the animal's eye and ensure that that is in focus the whole time. Um, and it's just a complete game changer. I'm so impressed with it. And as you'll see from the pictures, they are super sharp. Absolutely wicked. A lot of people will say that wildlife photography and the best pictures are, are just because you have the best equipment and to an extent it's true but at the same time I would always maintain that you can have the best equipment in the world and if you don't put in the, the time and the effort and if you don't have the patience and the commitment to go hours and days um, in rain and in uncomfortable conditions and if you don't learn the wildlife's behavior and you'll learn, you, you, know, you don't learn your field craft then you just won't get the photos. Having said that, once you're in that position where you've learned all of that and you've, you've put in the dedication to get close to the wildlife, then this camera is an absolute game changer. Um, I'm so impressed with it and yeah, as I said, this isn't mine, but I'm really going to have to try and save up now to get one of these. It's, um, yeah, it's a very, very good camera. I'm starting to make my way back home now and it's been another really nice evening. A lot more successful than yesterday. We've seen a few more things. So we've got the muntjac, the roe deer and the marbled white butterfly as well. It was really nice uh, to photograph and film that. And um, to be honest, I think I've sort of tested everything out that I wanted to with the R6 in terms of, you know, the low light capabilities, the um, autofocus settings, both um, with photography and filming. The, the, yeah, the, the focus tracking when filming was absolutely brilliant um, as I showed you with the butterfly and um, also the eye focus was, was just incredible which I got to test out with the munchak so I think all in all like 
Um, it's it's just a phenomenal camera. The lens was absolutely brilliant as well. I think the only thing to consider with the lens is it's um, f four point five to seven point one, which means maybe uh, in low light conditions you you might struggle slightly, but hopefully the um, low light capabilities of the camera body will make up for that. Um, so yeah, I'll probably wrap up this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've um, found it insightful if it's a camera that you're looking to get. Um, I would definitely say it's, it's worth it's worth doing um, if you can afford it and if you can save up for it then yeah brilliant camera definitely a step up from um, from what I've got which is a 7D Mark II and I'll at some point be looking to invest in uh, in this one um, and I hope that if you were here just to sort of have a look at the wildlife then I hope you enjoyed it as well uh, very pleased with what we saw very pleased with some of the pictures I got as well so yeah hopefully there was a bit of something for sort of different audiences today and um, hopefully everyone's enjoyed it please do consider subscribing if you did enjoy it and i'll be back soon with some more content